Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you and tell you some tips and tricks on global elimination in Unity 5 but before we go to main story of this video I mean not story <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm not professional user I'm just hobbyist and just keep that in mind okay let's go ahead now I have here uh, three items of geometry cube number one, cube number two and a plane which are all static objects you can see it here if I disable this option if they are not static you will see that they don't have any effect of global illumination I have no idea, maybe this will be changed in the next updates of Unity 5, but I really want to see a real-time, full working global elimination. So let's make them static again, and you will see difference. This uh, guy has a bluish color around it, this guy has a red um, color around it. Why it's happening? Because we have a sun which is casting its rays, rays on blue and uh, red cube. And uh, the quality of this global illumination is quite good. But uh, if I want to change something, let's just say I want to move this cube closer to my uh, blue cube, you can see that it takes a lot of time to recalculate everything, a lot of time. And my computer is not very powerful, I have only 4 GB of RAM and it's really, really crazy you can see that it's now looking very good and also you can see that I have here a reflection probe and I will talk on reflection probe later in this video now we are going to talk about productivity uh, so previously you know if you wanted to change your skybox in unity 4 for example you needed to go to edit menu and there was some option which helped you to change your uh, skybox now to change skybox and to make many other changes uh, with lightning lighting you need to go to window menu and click here because now skybox is a part of light it's very important uh, my skybox now is connected to my environment because of this option because uh, my ambient source is skybox I'm going to deselect uh, um, I'm going to make my geometry not static and then I'm going to show you how my skybox actually affects my geometry. So I want to pick other sky. In the previous versions of U U Unity, uh, to select your skybox, you needed to pick material which consisted of four n sides. So cube, yeah, cube has four four sides now you can literally select uh, such material so it's a single texture but I don't want to select this material I want to select something interesting I want to show you how your material can really affect your world so there is some kind of bluish material over here yeah this one it's, it's a water material and you can see now that actually this skybox affects my environment somehow 
so now we have kinda bluish ground and now you can see this error here but it's not error it's just a notification it's not critical but still it's not recommended to use this for for the rest of your work just for test so I'm going to make it again you know, normal normal sky box also uh, light is a part of your sky box so sky box is a part of light itself and light is now connected to your sky box so now you can make a day night cycles directly in Unity 5 without any third party plugins or tutorials. So if you take your Sun Global uh, source, of, source of Light, you can rotate it and it will do all work, all work for you. If you delete your Global Light, you can see that uh, you have something like Unity 4 or Unity three so just back in time but with your global uh, source of light and this option enabled you have a great connection of your light and your environment now we are going to talk on uh, productivity so there are other option no ah it's about light no yes it's about this it's it's about general GI so look I have here such option default parameters which means that it's an it's actually a version of my global illumination so if you are a developer, if you're a level designer or a game designer, you understand that you have to need you need to have at least two versions of your work, draft and final. And if you want to make a minor change in your work and it will make everything again and again, you know, change by by change, you will need to wait a long you know f for a long time and to avoid such waiting I recommend you to use uh, such you know options like, uh, like this to lower your resolution of uh, GI so you can see now I can move my cube but first of all I want to make it static static again and it will take less time to, um, to to calculate my global illumination it will be not very powerful it's uh, not very good looking but you will see it as draft and it will be much faster you can see it so it takes not so l long to make it work but it's it's not very cool looking yes it's about uh, productivity and now we are going to talk about reflection mm. I'm going to move my cube back here and uh, I'm going to make my default parameters default I have here a pre-computed real-time GI because I want to see my changes right now right here in the live mode if you are starting to work with global elimination I recommend you to use Baked GI because it's manual and you need to only uh, disable this and click here build 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 and you will see your results step by step but I use real time because I need to see it right now right here so we finish with um, this lighting now we are going to talk on a reflection so you can see here I have here a reflection uh, they are real-time 
and there is a real problem about reflections and I'm going to show you the source of this problem so I have here a reflection probe which is like a reflection cube map but it's real time in Half-Life 2 in Sour's engine I mean and I have here such option enabled like HDR which is really cool I think it's for better quality and I have here resolution which is not very high why it's not very high? because uh, you know maybe it's funny but if I select it's very high and I, and I go to my material and this is actually the maximum quality for your global illumination uh, for <laughs> for your reflection. This is the maximum quality. So I think there is no sense to keep uh, the resolution for your reflection very high if you cannot see it good. I think uh, it's much better to keep such values uh, to keep such values like this this value. So you can see here uh, two Mm, sliders for material metallic which actually means reflectivity right and you can see here the change of um, of appearance around your cube so now it's more bluish I mean not bluish uh, white more bright and if it's uh, more metallic it's becoming less bright and it's about blue, uh, bluish, blurishness. But for my case, I recommend you to use this value. So we want to see some reflection. And to adjust your reflection, for instance, size, I mean volume of your reflection, you need to click here and uh, you need to keep your mouth here and move your volume and adjust it like this yeah that's all about this I guess that's all about this it's about reflection probes it's about reflection about productivity about and also I want to say that all absolutely all features I have in this uh, t tutorial are real time but one of the main problems for current state of unity 5 is that unity 5 it's it's mm, is not completely working with dynamic objects you can make it work with some mm, reflections with bounces of light but not completely you need to make sure that you have your static enabled for better quality and I hope that you, you, you unity will be uh, fully working for dynamic objects very soon yeah guys thank you for watching this video have a good time and bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next episode of something very interesting bye